Hello guys and welcome to this little video. Today I'm going to show you how to create custom grass for Game Guru. Now, first of all, we're going to need a plant model. And so we are going to take the one from foliage folder and the dry bush. This is a just a very simple plant with multiple faces and it can easily be changed. So basically all my uh, foliage stuff is just this single plant entity retextured over and over again. Now let me show really quick what I mean. You see this is my custom uh, entity folder. These are all uh, edited in some way and I have uh, about 50 bush or tree or grass entities. Now I got this one, this is an edited one for some scenes or this grass or this. You may have seen some of them in my videos. This one I use quite often. Makes for cool grass too. And yeah, you can basically have unlimited amount of different grass types in your level with these entities. You can just spray them around. Of course it's gonna cost uh, quite some performance, but I think it's really worth it and it looks really cool at the end. And that's what we all want, right? A cool looking level. So let's just spam these around a bit. Scale them up. Scaling is also really important. Don't ever underestimate scaling. Alright, okay, and now I'm going to show you how you can do these grass types for yourself. Now first we're going to make a copy of our single plant entity. <coughs> So let's go to your game guru directory, your foliage folder, and then you type in dry. That's the name of the entity, dry bush. Let's just copy all of them in a new folder called, yeah, you can basically call it whatever you want, but I'm gonna call it tutorial, tutorial grass one. Okay, now let's paste it in. Then you wanna get uh, a custom PNG file from whatever you can imagine. I am um, just uh, I just searched cattail PNG in Google, and of course there are copyright um, issues when you um, use it for your game and you try to sell it. But this is just a real quick tutorial so I will use it for now but there are sites uh, where um, grass taxes are available for free and even for commercial use so you might want to just search around on the internet a bit okay I downloaded this already and now you wanna use uh, paint.net that's a cool little program I use very often I'm going to uh, link it in the description so you can download it <coughs> Now we will uh, convert this PNG to a .dds file that GameGuru can recognize. Okay, let's drop it in, open it. Yeah, and it has to be PNG, or otherwise you will make it transparent for yourself. So, uh, luckily this one is already transparent, so we don't have to do this ourselves. Now let's just save as .dds and name it drybushd. And there you go, we have our new and custom grass texture. So let's drop it in really quick. 
let's remove the normal ones and let's try in the editor <coughs> yeah I didn't drop it in yet silly me um, game guru files yeah I created this folder already drop it in real quick in your entity bank so you can find it Okay. Of course, this is way brighter than uh, the other ones. Let's just drop them in. And there you go. You see, it's really easy to have custom grass in Game Guru and multiple types of grass as well. I only think that people just don't know how to do it, and that's why I make this video because some of you guys have been recommending it and asking for it. And now I finally have some free hours to actually show you what this is about. Okay. Let's drop in some trees as well. Let's take the nice animated trees from BSP. He makes some really cool stuff. Uh, let's take this one. Yeah, this is also a really dark tree. I retextured myself. Um, retexturing, I'm going to do a video too on this topic because it's a really great way to uh, create nice and unified looking scenes with similar color patterns and yeah this was asked uh, me as well to do a video of this topic about this topic I'm going to do it all <laughs> really soon okay now you see that the grass doesn't really fit to the ground texture the grass texture on the ground of course you can uh, download uh, texts from the internet again just uh, convert them to DDS and drop it into your text source folder and you can have all kinds of custom terrain also custom things are just really important because it stands out from many other produ products that users make with GameGuru and it's one of the most important things to have like custom main menu, custom hut just some things to give a little personality to your game now this one doesn't fit quite well let's take another one Okay, looks a bit better, so let's just try it and see how it looks. If you didn't understand how this works, just uh, write me in the comments and I will explain it step for step. But I think it's already pretty easy and it's not really uh, that mu much of work. Okay, let's turn up the brightness. And the FOV. And let's move that ugly reflections on the ground. Okay, of course the grass isn't, uh, you know, um, it's not fitting together really nicely at the moment because it's different colors and brightness. But we are going to change that too. Let's just um, change the sky really quick. And add, and add a little fog. What's also really important and uh, a quite common mistake that 
this guy doesn't connect with your... I mean the fog doesn't connect with your sky. That's a mistake uh, most people make. And it's just, you know, they have a bluish sky and they make like uh, orange uh, fog. And it just looks off. It does look awful and there's no connection whatsoever. So basically you just wanna... Oh, that's how I do it all the time. It really helps me getting the right look. Turn the fog really uh, narrow and so like really cl close to you and you can see the transition better. So let's add more color, like this should be a bit better. As you can see now, it just blends in way better than before. Okay, um, I will show you how to retext uh, things, uh, props, buildings, and grass and stuff uh, in another video because I don't want to make videos too long. And um, yeah, that's it for the custom grass stuff. If you have any questions, uh, just ask me them in the comments. I will reply as soon as I can. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful to you and see you next time.